local uh, high school football hero, went on to play at Syracuse, played for the Giants. You know, he's a smart guy, he's a disciplined guy. If you're looking to make some investments, look him up. Making his way into the cage right now, Jaleel Palmer. And we spoke of Kyle Kaler earlier. There he is, that man that defeated Bruce Maiano in his last fight. We see Al Morrow there. Yeah. Alex Williams, Williams. is defeated. Yep. 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 You know, that support system is just endless for Poncho. He's a nice, nice young man, too. I, I was talking to him a little bit before the, uh, about an hour or so before the show started. We were chatting a little bit in the hallway. Nice guy. He is, you know, and he's always been up there in the upper echelon. You know, he took a couple of tough losses against guys like Jordan Strom, Hayden Speckhart, but he, bought, he beat some tough guys like Devin Olin. You know, he's been right there at the precipice of the championship, and, you know, tonight's going to tell the story of whether he made it. Another young man coming in here nice and calm and composed with a good, strong team behind him. That, of course, helps. We've been talking about having your crew and having your guys, men and women, behind I mean, you got you, that Kyle kind Keller of support. And Al right there. You know, what, what kind of a support blanket do you need? And again, all these guys have done the work, so a lot of their nerves should kind of, of be over. They put that sweat in and that blood in. There's your boy, Matthew Cerullo. Hell of a guy. All right, we got Ricky George coming to us, 2-0 from Henzo Gracie Latham, and as well as Sukti Moitai. The interesting thing here, and the funny thing for the folks at home, is we were butchering this poor guy's name so many times, calling it Jorge. Yeah. I saw him in the elevator today, and I said, dude, I got to ask you, <laughs> is it Jorge or George? And he just laughed. He goes, don't worry about it. You're not the only one who's done it. It's George. Yeah. Well, thank you for, for clarifying that, because between that one and Pastore and Pastor, Let's at least make sure we have our title winners and our title fight contenders being shouted out properly. Ricky George is a tough guy. He's been around a long time, very skilled martial artist. You know, another thing to think about is what he does for work. He's a corrections officer. So he's always dealing with kind of dangerous situations, sure. violent situations. Yep. So there's a level of almost being desensitized to sure. it. Sure. You know, and that's definitely gonna be in his advantage. So he may not have six fights, but he's had a whole shitload in prison. <laughs> yeah. And when I talked to him in the elevator, he was calm as a he was calm and collected. He was just ready to go like another day at the office. And he's got a lot of fans here tonight, and you'll hear it as soon as he steps inside the cage. Ricky George entering the cage. Ricky George in the red corner. We're gonna bring it up to Mike Falvo for the official introduction. The action continues live from the Rivers Casino and Resort here in Schenectady. Three three-minute rounds for the Cage Wars Flyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 126 pounds, representing Mohawk Valley Mixed Martial Arts out of New Hartford, New York, Jaleel Pancho Palmer. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday at 126 pounds, representing the Henzo Gracie Academy out of Latham, New York, Ricky Bobby George. I think I need to hit the treadmill when I'm home. I weigh more than both these guys together. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. I'm feeling we fat. Two very athletic, very aggressive men. Very skilled as well. Absolutely. These smaller guys have gas tanks for days, so they're a lot of fun to watch. George and Palmer for the flyweight title. How do we see this one? How do we see this one uh, turning out? I'm seeing some fists of fury, I think. Mm. I had plenty of conversations with Palmer about harnessing the darkness for these events. Mm. Fists of fury. I think so. I'm here for it. Faints early from both men. Palmer in the blue, George in the red. Ooh, good leg kick early. Beyond the leg kick, he followed it up that lead hook. Good circling.
Looks like George may want to strike to get into clincher or est uh, establish a takedown. Yeah, he wants to put something in front of him for sure. Mm. Oh. Ricky doing a good job fighting the hand, trying to turn into Poncho. Yeah, I think Palmer wants to strike. With nice him. right hand by Palmer. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh that might have been. Accident or knee to the head? Yeah. That looked like it might have been. But, but how about the toughness here by yeah, George? Stay focused, absolutely. Mission to hand. Nothing but composure. Simply amazing work. Great job. I mean, he he took he ate a couple of shots there, and he's Even, not only keeping pressure against KG, he's also punching and striking. He's not just catching his breath. Yeah. Heck of a job here by George. Over open Palmer to stop George from making it to his back. Palmer's got to get that back off the cage. It almost looked like Palmer was finding a little comfort and found a nice little pocket. And George yeah. just said, "Nope, I'm putting a stop to that right now." No. Rewarding him with some grinding. And you hear George's corner saying, "Lead with the head, push, head pressure." Absolutely. Kenny Sink can grab the takedown. Good job fighting the hands by Poncho. Yeah, George doing a good job of stapling Palmer's head to the, to the fence with his neck. About a minute and 15 left to go in our nice first Nice job round. with the plum in the right knee. Very exciting round one. Yeah, mixing it up really well, George. And again, Palmer not in danger, but being controlled at this point. Right. Nice knee off the cage. Ooh, way to punch his way out That's of the cage. That's how you do it, yep. I love this fight. Less than one minute left. Both guys showing some dog. Yeah. Yeah, these guys want to win. Mm -hmm. mm. And they don't want it to go to decision. They want to win. We're seeing handle. some experience out of Palmer right now. Well, six fights, and he fought some high-level guys, you we're know? Seeing, I mean. We're seeing some experience. A lot of feints. And his striking has improved. He's, Mark, he's Mark. landing. He's landing. He's he's feeling good. Ricky George knows right now his best position is, is grappling. I, if, if George can survive this, I'd be really impressed. He's got 30 seconds to go. He needs them. Yeah, that fall down's not looking good. The referee's giving him the opportunity to fight out. Oh. You know, the thing is, you've got to defend intelligently. That's yeah. what the referee's and looking for. And he appeared to be doing that. It. Wow. Yeah. Great job by Poncho. Yeah. You know, absolutely. and you can't help but be happy for the guy. Yeah. He was always right there and just could never quite cross it. And he did tonight. Hell of a job. Great job by Palmer. Relentless. That fight had a couple of different ebbs and flows. And yeah, it, it, it could have gone in any directions, but, but Palmer took the fight right to George. And, and give George credit. He fought it to the, bitter, to the very bitter end. Yeah. He challenged the referee's decision there, but I think in the end that was the right thing to do. Do you guys agree? Yeah. I agree. He gave him enough opportunities to create separation defenders. There's time. There's time to work. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo. We want to welcome into the cage the sponsor of this championship fight, former NFL player and Syracuse University alum, Matthew Tarullo. Crowd settles into the cage as we send it up inside for a final as decision. As always, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for these two great fighters. <laughs> Referee David Bruce has called a stop to the fight. Two minutes, 46 six seconds into round number one for your winner by way of TKO and the new Cage Wars Flyweight Champion, Joe Leal. Poncho! Palmer!